You thought I forgot about this account, didn't you? I have done no such thing. Though to be fair, it has been quite a while since the last episode of the Nuzlocke series. Our next main objective is the Liyue story quest, and we can't do that until we are AR23. Currently, however, we are only AR20, so we need to get three AR levels before we're able to progress with the main storyline. Though I think we definitely will be heading to Liyue to some extent today. Might as well go unlock some stuff in the area. Area. And of course, before we can do that, we should probably take care of our daily commissions. I wonder if I should go ahead and try to get all the animaculae as well. It probably wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Oh, a Apparently, I hit AR-21 at some point. I don't know when that happened, but I will happily accept that. And it seems like we did collectively decide that Lumine's constellations are okay because they give them to you for free. So we will be activating both of those. I also forgot at the end of the last episode, we did get Barbara on the account. I was about to say, let's go ahead and build her, but build her with what? I suppose just anything with HP percent. And we might as well level up the Thrilling Tales probably gonna be one of our best weapons on the entire account. I think unfortunately we do need to go around and get every animoculus that exists because not having max stamina, not only is it a bit of a hindrance, but it's also going to put us at a higher risk of losing a character. Although this will be the fifth time, I think maybe even sixth, that I've gone around and gotten all of the animoculus. I don't remember where they all are off the top of my head, so I'm gonna have to use the interactive map. But before we do that, we can head on over to what will be the greatest challenge on this account. No, I'm not going to do it right now, but I think we can at least unlock it. This brings us over to the Spiral Abyss. I'm pretty sure, yes, we can indeed unlock it. I don't want to go in just yet, though. I mean, I kind of do, to be honest, but I know it's a very dumb idea to do so. Maybe we'll try to beat Floor 1 today, just to get a gauge of how difficult this is going to be. But that's going to have to be later in the video. I guess I'm going to set out and try and collect all of the Animoculus that I can now. Should be a fun time. It'll probably be about 10 seconds for you guys and maybe an hour and a half for me. So let me not waste any time and get started. How did that make any sense? All right. Can I just hope that we have enough? Because don't they give you one extra one anyways? Because apparently I can't get to that island. My guess is I'm going to be one short. Let's see. Offer all. Are we maxed out on the statue? We are. Okay, good. Thank goodness. So the one animoculus that we still have left is that one. And I don't plan on ever getting it. Look at all that XP just pouring in. Oh, are we going to hit AR-22? No. I did overestimate how long that would take just a little bit. Instead of an hour and a half, it only took an hour. While I was doing all that, I did remember that I wanted to say we will be using Cole once we get her from the Spiral Abyss, now that she's given out as a free character. So we will indeed have a full team of eight when we do Spiral Abyss. At least later on. But with all of the Animoculus collected, I think I want to go ahead and make our way over to Liyue. We do still have a couple quests that we could do in Mondstadt, but to be honest, I don't really want to do them again. It's the ones that you have to do on every account, like Dark Knight Hero, Razor's Quest. The stuff I've done at least five times already. Oh, that mage hurt. I oh should have put Barbara on the team before fighting this thing. I thought about it, and I chose not to. But luckily, Kai is still able to break that shield relatively easily. Oh, that's right. While I was doing the grindy stuff, I believe we got a four-star artifact. Yeah, this one. Oh, this <laughs> defense percent. I mean, I guess Noel can have it. And apparently I'm in combat with, um... 
the air. Here you go, Noel. Have some more defense. I kind of want to go fight Pyro Regisvine. I don't think that'd be too hard if we use Barbara. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But I mean, we're going to have to fight it if we want Amber to grow stronger. I forget, did John Ling need the same boss as well? I can't think of what else she would want. Oh, that's going to be a lot of Pyro Regisvine farming. And just like that, we unlock part of Liyue. I like how I said that as if it was something really exciting. And, uh... Yeah, it's really not. At least for now, I'm going to keep Lumin as Animo. She is the only Animo character we're going to get, and I would like to put her as Dendro because the Dendro Traveler is the most fun Traveler in my opinion, but because we're going to be getting Kole eventually, it's better to just have one of every element. Although we might need Geo Lumin for stuff like this. Oh, never mind. Somehow we got that. I should start being a little more careful here because as we go further into this region, we're probably going to encounter some more dangerous enemies. The last thing I want to do is lose a character now before we even enter the Spiral Abyss. Oh, that reminds me. For all the comments I saw, I thought it was kind of obvious, but if a character dies in Spiral Abyss, yes, they are just dead. The Spiral Abyss is not a safe zone. They couldn't die in Spiral Abyss. That'd be too easy. Oh, that's right. There were some weapons that we wanted in chests in Liyue. I haven't even been paying attention to whether I've gotten them or not. Speaking of weapons, should I just go ahead and try to get some more refinements for these? Because I mean, I do have some pretty Primo gems. Why not? Let's just do, I think, two ten pulls is what we can do. And we really, as always, only want the three stars on this account. Got a lion's roar. Nice. That'll be a nice dust collector, I guess. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> Why do you do that to me? Why do I gotta keep giving me constellations of the characters I'm actually gonna use? Which sounds like such a weird thing to say. Round number two. Is that our second Favonius Warbo? I'm pretty sure it is. Now, just give me a quick moment to refine up all the weapons we got. Ooh, we did get an extra one of the Sharpshooter's Oaths. That's good for Amber. And I think everything else is refined as much as it can be. It's kind of hard to try and find the matching ones, but I think I got them all. Just for fun, we're going to swap up the team a little bit, and I want to get Barbara ascended, so we need a whole one of these. Guess I might as well buy this while I'm here. There you go, Lumine, and here you go, Barbara. Wow, I really need more level up books. Do you think I could clear the Abyss Floor 1 right now? That seems like a very risky endeavor. We already could ascend characters if we got the drop. Wait, we haven't even killed Cryo Regis Find once, have we? Oh, should I go do that? Maybe, okay, let's do Pyro Regis Find first, wherever that is. Because I feel like if I level up Amber, then the Cryo Regis Find would be easier. And yes, I know I have the Xiangling. For some reason, I just don't want to use her until we're supposed to get her. Because like I've said, I don't want this series being reliant on luck at all. Although it's going to take us a while to get to wherever Pyro Regis Find is... So, you know, maybe I will go fight Cryo Regisvine first. Let's be as safe as possible. Kaya won't really help us here anyways. And this will be our first boss fight, technically, I think, other than Devalin. So we just need to be nice and careful. And then we'll just use one of these, one of these, some of that, because why not? I don't really do that much damage. I probably should have brought Lumine just so I could have swirled the pyro. Ooh, okay, we did get hit, but that wasn't too much damage. Although we got hit again. We got the extreme garden achievement. So we don't do nearly as much damage as I was hoping. That's fun. But I mean, as long as we don't lose a character, I really don't care. I very rarely, if ever, actually see this attack. Usually it's already dead by now. You know, if I was smart, I would have just farmed for all my bursts before I came in here and it would have made it a lot easier. But doesn't matter. And we hit AR-22 for that. We got a pyro damage bonus. Not too shabby. AR-22 rewards are nothing too exciting. I think the Mora is the most exciting thing there. The nice thing about this account is we're only ever gonna have one cryo character. So I was gonna say I could just craft all of our cryo stuff up, but we have none. Oh, that's unfortunate because I need a decent amount to actually ascend Kaya. We finally made it to the next Catherine. I believe we just get free stuff for this. Yep. 40 Primo Gems. Oh, hello there, sir. I believe if I ask you about how the fish are selling, you will give me something. And I will happily accept that something because it's a pretty decent sword. I guess it'd be best for Lumine because it's EM. Well, it's either Lumine or Kaya, and I don't think Kaya really wants the EM. So Lumine it is. For some reason, I really want to try the Abyss right now. But judging by our Cryo Regisfine fight, I really do feel like I should wait a little because as we all know if a character dies 
they're dead. And we can't leave once we go in just to avoid having a character die. Once we're in there, we're in there. I guess I could always try and stall out the timer if need be. Where the heck am I? I could always stall out the timer so I can, you know, live. But I'm not allowed to just teleport out of there. This isn't a dumb idea, right? I could definitely beat this guy. This kind of seems like a dumb idea, especially without Noel. I think I might run. I, I, I think I'm okay. If I bring Noel instead of Amber, I'll feel a lot safer in that fight. Stop following me. Leave me alone. Here, go chase this thing. Go chase that thing. Okay, we got Noel. Let's come back in and hopefully not lose anyone. I still don't think this is a good idea because I literally don't have to do this. Hello, sir. I need to take out the minions first or they're just going to be really annoying this whole time. One minion left. Let's try and freeze you because I think that would be a good idea. No, no, no. I know this one attack this thing does that just keeps hitting you over and over. And once you get hit, you can't get out of it. But I think we're going to be just fine. There we go. Pretty easy. Honestly, Barbara and Kaya is a really good combination. You get a lot of nice freezes. And freezes are great because it means the enemy can't hit me. The only downside is then if Noel hits them, it unfreezes. Because then you get the whatever it's called. Crystallize? Is it crystallize? I don't know. All I know is it's not good. No, isn't it shatter or something? I don't know. There's some word for it. Basically, I break the freeze. That's all you need to know. How am I attacking through an explosive barrel without hitting it? That's interesting. Well, this should hit it, right? Oh. Or not. Now, let's go back and fight Cryo Regis Vine again. I'd like to at least ascend one character down already. We throw that up. We do one of those by accident. We do one of these, one of these. Maybe this for fun, one of these. And still don't do all that much damage. Almost got it down to half. That's not bad. Almost dead. Very close. And there we go. Please give me the crystal-y thingies. Mm, we got those. The struggle of low AR draw. Am I just not able to craft them yet? Because I should have enough to at least craft the next level of them. I have six of these, so I should be able to craft two of the next tier, but I guess I can't. I didn't know that it actually locked that. Well, I guess I'm gonna be farming this again. Oh, I actually glitched inside of it. Huh, interesting. Come on, crystals. No, <laughs> I can't ascend a character with that. Yeah, I did not know that they wouldn't let you craft that until a certain point. So I guess I can't ascend anyone right now. Oh, see, I didn't have him at max level, so it didn't tell me specifically. But yeah, you got to be AR 25 to ascend him again. Okay, so I can't ascend anymore. Got it. Remember back when I said I wasn't going to do the Dark Knight hero quest because I didn't want to do it? Well, I need XP. So here we are. I can't remember if you're required to use Pyro in this domain, but they give you D-Luke and obviously we can't use D-Luke. So I'm going to bring Amber just in case. I can't wait until we do get to use Xiangling though, because Xiangling, Kaya, and Barbara together is a fun combination. Like look at just these two. Infinite Freeze. It's beautiful. I really like to use the D-Luke right now because having a lot more Pyro application would be nice. Ooh, and Abyss Mage, my favorite enemy. Good thing I have Kaya. Oh, you know what I really need to watch out for? Sometimes when you go near a cutscene area, they force you into it. And if you're falling, expecting to just glide or plunging attack right at the end, it actually kills your character. That would be the worst way to go. You know, these cutscenes just remind me that I'm really looking forward to whenever the anime comes out and I hope it's good. I hope it's not just like 50 filler episodes in between all the action. Cause I think they said it was a long-term anime, which means tons of episodes and they're obviously going to have a budget and I would hope that they would put the billions of dollars from the game towards that budget, but they probably won't. We'll get one good fight scene every 50 episodes maybe, but we can hope, right? We can huff on that hopium. I have a feeling this is not going to be enough XP to get us to 23. Not even close. Okay, cool. I think the book might be our best bet to try to reach AR 23. Oh, not this Paimon. I hate when she does this. Like, hurry, we need to get back right away. Get, get back where? There's no quest currently going on. Where do you need me to get back to? Oh, it's one of my favorite enemies. But you see, I actually have a character with a bow right now, so I'm not as afraid of this thing. And as long as I don't jump, I should be completely fine. Okay, never mind. I just literally froze it the entire time it was alive. That works too. That's another part of the book done. These give us a decent amount of XP, right? How much does this chest give? Gives me six. 
60. I was kind of hoping for a bit more than 60. Ooh, but this will give me 200 XP and a key, which is another 60. So 260 in total. I like that. And I should be fine to do these now. I was waiting just to make sure I wouldn't accidentally lose a character in here, but I think we're fine. Oh, that was not smart. It's a good thing I did wait, I guess. Imagine if I just lost Noel right there. Oh, this challenge would be significantly harder. And there we go. Still need about 500 more XP. So, oh, no, Paimon, I still don't know what you're talking about. But as I was going to say, now we're going to take on another domain. Oh, yeah, isn't this just one floor of combat? Well, that was easy. Oh, that hit air 23? I really thought we were gonna have to do a couple more things after that. So we could continue with the main story right now, but I think I want to try the Spiral Abyss. Paimon, I don't know. I have no idea what you're referring to. All right, so Pyro and Electro are the two elements we're gonna want more of. And what are the enemies? Electro Slimes, Hillagerals, and more Electro stuff. So we don't want to bring Lisa in here. Definitely Kaya, Barbara, Noel, and I guess Amber. Let's hope this doesn't go poorly. Let's take extra attack percent. Oh wait, that was for the chamber. Crap, I wish I took the other one now. How hard could it really be? It's just 23 slimes for this floor. Oh, look at this. We shred them. And we can throw out one of these just to see. Oh, that's decent damage. And we got an achievement. Now you see, usually in the spiral abyss, you just keep climbing until you lose on the floor. And you're like, all right, now I need to wait. But for this, we have to be very hesitant about whether we want to challenge another floor or not. For now, though, let's actually worry about finishing this floor. Forgot how easy floor one actually is, though. All right, now should just be big boys. Yes, indeed. Chamber number two. Wait, wait, I didn't three star it. I was just trying to save my bursts at the end, so I guess I should have used them. That's a bit embarrassing. I mean, the hard part is just that it spawns enemies everywhere and I have to keep running over to them. I don't really have anyone to group them up for us, but we're really not struggling whatsoever yet. And I added the yet because you never know. Okay, so that one was easy, as Noelle's just gonna keep spinning for us. But now we gotta go back and actually get three stars. I was not expecting to have to do this already. So I guess we'll just spam out bursts whenever we have them on anyone. It kind of sucks that I'm not struggling at all. It's just that they space them out so much. It makes it difficult to do it in time. All right, just big boys left. Go, faster, 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 faster. And there we go. Nice three stars. Oh, it increases cryo. That makes it sound easy, but I don't want to be fooled here. It's just more electro hydro. Okay, we could do this, right? I know it's kind of dumb to bring Barbara when a lot of these enemies are hydro, but it's never bad to have a healer, especially in a Nuzlocke. Here we go. Oh, they're already red levels. Uh oh, <laughs> that's not good. I do not like seeing that. Okay, maybe we'll only do chamber one here. If it weren't for the fact that cryo is boosted in here, I feel like we'd be doing no damage. Also, not so sure we're even going to make the time limit, at least for three stars. We're definitely going to make it for two or one. It's not that bad, though. It's giving giving me this false sense of security. You know what? I'm gonna push. It's content, right? This could be a terrible idea. Oh gosh. It's both great and terrible that the water- Yes, that the water is wet. That's what I was gonna say. No, it is both great and terrible that the floor is wet. And it's a stupid monolith one. I don't think I want to use Lisa here. I was going to use her. She has her burst. But you see, if I use that, I'm gonna be hurting myself in the process. Eh, let's do it anyways. Okay, let's stop hitting the monolith, yeah? That's, uh, that's not good. Stop it. No, 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 slime. Slime over here. Slime, attack me. Don't attack that. I think we're good. At least for chamber two, we're good. On to chamber three. Let's see how this goes. I hate the red levels. I really hate seeing red levels. Only five enemies though. Please stop healing. Ooh, double mage. That's not fun. Here, let's put down this and then they teleport outside of it and it's useless. That's nice. Love that. No, no bubbles. For some reason, I just forgot that there is a time limit. Okay, we have 30 seconds to knock this thing out and I really can't do much damage to it. 20 seconds. I got this, right? 15? Ish? Is 17? I can read. There. Okay, I don't think we want to push anymore right now. The fact that there are already red levels in there is a little concerning. I mean, we get a goblet with attack percent. That's not too bad. Paimon, what do you mean we need to get back? Get back where my next quest is, right of dissension, which is here. I don't know where you want me to go. Well, now that we've done the spiral abyss, two of the floors are done. So technically we are one fourth of the way done with this challenge. Look, Kaya, where are you looking? I'm over here. Thank you. Now the leeway story quest 
is quite long, so I think I want to save that for the next video. So far, we still have not lost a character yet. I don't know if I really want to jinx that, though. Feel free to subscribe to follow along with this challenge, and as always, I will see you guys next time.